Okay, today we're going to have a look at expanding double brackets. Um, so this question could be asked in a multitude of ways. The question might say, remove the brackets and simplify. Or the question might just say, simplify. Um, but both of them mean the same thing. Okay, we're just going to have a work through a couple of examples. Um, so I'll just say simplify the following. Let's go with number one. Okay, so let's imagine we've got two brackets this time that are multiplying each other x plus 3 times x plus 7. So what that means is that everything inside this bracket is multiplying everything inside this bracket. Okay, so what we can do is the following. So we go x times x, which is x squared. Then we do x times plus 7, which is plus 7x. Okay, so that's what we've done so far is that the x has multiplied everything here. So we now need to multiply everything in the second bracket by the 3. Okay, so that's going to become plus 3 times x, which is plus 3x. And then plus 21. Okay, from there we can just collect like terms, we get all the x squareds together, all the x's together and all the numbers together. So that's going to become x squared plus 10x plus 21. Okay, let's have a look at example 2. Let's go for x plus 6 x minus 2 x times x x squared x times minus 2 is minus 2x 6 times x is plus 6x 6 times minus 2 is minus 12 collecting like terms that's going to become x squared then I've got minus 2x plus 6x So you can think about that in a number line. Minus 2 plus 6 will be plus 4. And then minus 12. Okay, let's have a go on a couple of examples. Let's do x minus 1, x minus 5. Oops. x times x. Is x squared. x times minus 5 is minus 5x. Minus 1 times x is minus 1x, which we just write as minus x. Minus 1 times minus 5, or negative times a negative, is positive, plus 5. Collecting like terms, that's going to become x squared. And then we want to simplify these terms here. Minus 5x minus x, well, that's going to become minus 6x plus 5. Okay, that's kind of like level 1 sort of questions, um, those three there. Um, but we can kind of ramp up the challenge a little bit. Um, so I'm going to give myself a little bit more space here. Uh, let's call this number 4. And let's do 3x plus 2, 2x minus 1. Okay, so we do 3x times 2x, well 3 times 2 is 6, x times x is x squared, so we're going to have 6x squared. 3x times minus 1 is minus 3x. 2 times 2x, or that's plus 2 times 2x, is going to become plus 4x. Plus 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. 
collecting like terms, we get all the x squared together. We get all the x's together, so we're going to, need to simplify this here. Minus 3x plus 4x, so think about that in a number line. We start at minus 3 and we move up 4. That would get us to plus 1. That's going to become plus 1x minus 2. One final example. Uh, number 5, let's go for 3x minus 7 squared. Okay, so to remember, just to put this at the side here, remember 7 squared, that means 7 times 7, that means we're multiplying it by itself. So see when we've got 3x minus 7 all squared, what that means is we've got 3x minus 7 is multiplying itself, 3x minus 7 times 3x minus 7. Okay, uh, so what we can then go ahead and do is just go ahead and multiply our brackets, 3x times 3x is going to be 9x squared, and then minus 21x, minus 21x, and then plus 49, okay, because a negative times a negative is positive. Okay, we just want to collect like terms, so we need to worry about this guy here first. We get all of our x squared together. 9x squared, minus 21, minus 21. And that's going to become minus 42x plus 49. Okay, the mistake... The mistake with this problem is that people just square both terms. The mistake people, oops, Daisy. The mistake that people make is they say that the answer is just going to become 9x squared minus 49. Okay, because they just square the 3x and they square the 7, or they might even put a plus 49. But it's really important that when we're squaring, we remember that we're multiplying it by itself. So that's why we draw out the double bracket. Okay, hopefully that was helpful.